officials with Russia's presidential office said Putin had lifted a ban clearing the way for shipment. The ban had prohibited the transfer of the S-300 missile system to Iran. Russia signed a contract in 2007, but three years later it suspended delivery in line with UN sanctions over Iran's nuclear program. We are convinced that at this stage there is no longer a need for such an embargo, specifically for a separate, voluntary Russian embargo. Officials in the United States agree supplying the system would not violate UN sanctions, but Secretary of State John Kerry objected to Russia's unilateral decision. The secretary raised those concerns in a call with Foreign Minister Lavrov this morning. Uh, we don't believe it's constructive at this time for Russia to move forward with this. Harf said U.S. leaders do not believe Russia's move will affect unity in future negotiations on Iran's nuclear program. Iran and six world powers reached a breakthrough interim deal this month in the Swiss city of Lausanne. Negotiators aim to reach a final deal by the end of June. Observers say U.S. leaders want to avoid a rift with Russia to encourage cooperation toward reaching a final.